Hello, my viewers, and welcome to entry number two. I guess we're doing a journal here. I mean, I like the, uh, the fact that I have to put effort into editing clips. I don't have good Wi-Fi, so this can take eight years to upload anyway. It gives me a little more practice with my craft, and, you know, if anything, I to let a lot of things off my chest. Today, we're going to talk about Winter's boobs. But before we do, I want to show you two things. Number one, this. Here's Johnny. There, I am pretty sure I have your attention now, if nothing else. But number two is, well, I'm going to show you guys what I did this morning. Uh, yeah, uh, going to the store. Uh, right now, I can't aim in for the classic old Walmart. A thought passed through my head. Okay. So I hope the maids don't find Winter, especially if Winter's deciding she wants to move around a bit. That might not bode well with the help, you know what I mean? I mean, in all fairness, Winter wouldn't hurt a fly, you know what I mean? She's a very calm, kind, giving soul. But at the same time, how do I want to explain that? I, mean, I could just tell them the truth. She was designed by a friend with ghost tech to it. But then they're going to want to talk to this Jack Donovan. And that might not go well either. Because, you know, he did burn his face off with a blowtorch while doing a bunch of psycho and jet. Nothing I'd really not rather get into. I'm hoping while I'm gone, they don't really ask any questions or go in there. <laughs> because Winter, you know, her is going to get up, walk to the chair, and turn on her new favorite TV show, South Park. That's exactly what we need to help see. They go in to clean my room. They find a synthetic woman watching cartoons. Yeah, that might not go well. Cross my fingers they don't go in there. If they do, I'll just tell them a good old fashioned lie. She's an emotional sport item. I use her to cope. I'm on my way back now. I really, really hope the maids didn't need to clean or anything. Also, I was leaving the plaza, and apparently, there was this guy yesterday, like I just went and missed this too, legendary, a uh, guy acting like a nut job because he couldn't find his chimichangas, like really, really heated. He's wearing a red mask. Now, my life taught me anything. You don't let your imagination get the best of you. But I'm sitting here thinking, Fred Willis? No, oh, no, that'd be fucking insane. Because then we all know I'm not fucking crazy, right? Anyway, apparently... Yeah, I don't know, I guess they took him away or got away or walked off or whatever the fuck, I don't know. They weren't very clear on that. I was mostly just walking up and listening to what they were saying. Not mean to eavesdrop or anything, but, you know, kind of grabs your attention. Didn't I read a story about this kind of a guy? Welcome back. I don't know if that would do anything for anybody, but sometimes kids don't know what I do with my day. Um, Walmart. Got a lot of groceries, a lot of things I needed, and then I came back, and Winter had not scared the shit out of the help. So, uh, luckily, we still have a place to live, and of course, we don't have to explain Donovan or the uh, science behind the multiverse or anything like that. They might put me back in the asylum, if you know what I mean. But, uh, Winter's boobs. Before we get started, uh, a little bit of backstory. When I was in the mental hospital, you know, the same one we mentioned earlier, um, two completely worthless human beings with no actual purpose in their life decided to, uh, you know, take advantage of the fact that I wasn't there. And they decided to, you know, pull up Winter's Mute's shirt. Her name is Winter Mute, but Susan Winter still. Pull up Winter's shirt as such. And you can see the little nipple, maybe it's my shirt here. And then take a screenshot of it, or a picture or whatever, and share it on the internet. Like the waste of space they are. Now, I'm not upset about the picture. In fact, Winter's nudes leaking before mine is a blessing. If people saw me naked, people's eyes would come out of their skulls. I'm sure. I'm sure it's not that bad, actually. But still, you know, deliberate humor, I guess. I don't know. What bothers me is, like, you didn't even do a good job. Let's take a moment to properly insult the people, review their product, of what they decided to share in the world, okay? If Winter's going to have her picture of her nude be online... Put some effort into it. What fucking idiot pulls my shirt about like this? And then, 
waves out the Polaroid essentially and just shares it online thinking it's going to shame me. No, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed of winter. I love winter. She's my everything. She's my whole world. She's my place of zen and peace. She's my pride and joy. She's the people who keeps me from killing scumbags like that on a daily basis. Winter is a very important piece of my life. I'm not ashamed of her. In fact, anyone who thinks I am, you need to get your head examined if you keep believing that. But at the same time, like, at least do a titty pick justice. I go online and you pull up Pornhub. I know, I know. Talking to adults here on an adult channel, I'm assuming this makes sense, okay? You go into Pornhub and you will see there's a section for videos, which we all probably watch at this point. There's a section for GIFs. Yeah, that exists. And then there's a section for just pictures. Some people just like the picture. And when you look at these pictures on Pornhub, they really do it justice. You look at these titty pics and they put effort into it. They made sure to just have the gloss shine. I'm not saying get some foil and rub our tits first. I'm saying look at the craftsmanship of a good picture versus what these two jackasses posted. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna humiliate her, do it properly. Which again, it's not gonna work the way so many people. The trolls alone have probably wanted to see her tits for a while. I'm going to make, I'm going to take a picture of her tits, okay? I've already asked Winner. Is it cool? Yes. Yeah, it's cool. And I'm going to post this titty pic somewhere. Somewhere where it's okay to post it. Maybe, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll make like a, an OnlyFans. One time deal, one good pic. Sells well, it might be more than that. I, I highly doubt it, but still. And we'll do a real good titty pic, okay? Because wherever the fuck that was, I'm not angry. I'm just, like, disappointed. <laughs> that makes sense. It's like, it's winner's boobs. This is the woman I love. If you're gonna show her off, you gotta be proud of it. You gotta put effort into it. And these people didn't care. But, like, there's a difference between being an, an imbecile jackass online and being an artist. Of the two, you can do both at the same time if you put your mind to it. Remember, your future is dependent on how much work you put into it. If you're going to make someone's life hell, at least put effort into it. You stupid, worthless fucking cunt. Now, before we go any further, I want those two people to know, your birth certificate was an apology from the condom factory. And this right here is proof of that. That being said, come on, do it right. Like, you know, like this. Johnny. I am so, so sorry. But at least I know I have your attention now, I'm sure. Try to wow the viewer. Like, get the fucking attention. That was, I guess, you know, the joke there, right? But I'm just sitting here like, can we, can we, can we get like a, a, like a thing on that there? We got like Davy Jones in the bathroom. Can we get a, like a, put a thing for the editing? Look at this picture. I know, I know, I know. They're edited out, but what the fuck? Like, uh, this is a move right here, but look at this picture here. No, I'm looking, I'm just gonna like right here, right? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? What the? Winner, we're gonna give you a real good titty pick online, and god damn it, we're gonna smear the fucking pavement with these stupid motherfuckers, because this. And by the way, thank you, Mark Sanub, for sending me the original pics. That way I at least knew what the whole picture looks like. And it, uh, I mean, it, it Cinemas definitely did some justice with covering what was going on. Again, I'm not going to go into the detail of what's going on at that one day. But, like, this is, like, what the fuck? It's humiliating. It's embarrassing. Put, if you're going to do a nude, do it properly. You guys want to see my naked? I'll get naked right now. Fucking kidding, I'm kidding. But the point is, you gotta wow the audience. Make them like, god damn. Well, you know, let's use a good example. When Paris Hilton's nudes appeared <laughs> on the internet, wowed the world, you know? When Britney Spears went on her little, you know, cross shot, it wowed the world. This, it's just lazy. <laughs> like, god damn. Did your mother teach you to be fucking this pathetic? Again, not because you did it, but because you did such a shitty job of doing it right. Yeah. 
this is inspiring in a fucked up way. We're gonna start an OnlyFans. I'm gonna plug her behind. No, jeez. Well, I love her. She's one of my dreams, right? And I'm the lone wanderer, hence, you know, the sleepless arm. It's gonna be metal one day. I'm gonna get ripped off, and oh my god, that is actually kind of fucked up. That you know what? It works. The point is, this is the kind of things that I'm gonna vent about in this journal. Not venting, but like looking at, talking about, dissecting. Tomorrow, I already know what my head we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the mental hospital. Medication that they put me on, how it's helping me. We're also gonna talk about some of the coping skills. Did you guys know that I've been writing a journal? I'll read an entry tomorrow. Or I'll read some of it anyway. These entries are long, I've noticed. But this is what I want this journal to be. A way for me to talk about the things that bother me in a way that's productive. God damn it, this titty pick is somehow still floating here and it is just you need to start taking photography classes, man. I'm just gonna be fucking real with you. I thought you were a fucking filmographer. Or where the fuck they call them. I I do know did it the two people in question. But at the same fucking time, it's like if you're gonna do something, do it right. Otherwise, what's the point? I'll see you guys in the next video. This is mostly just, you know, what's gonna be here for this one. But tomorrow we'll talk about the hospital and, you know, the medications and the coping skills I learned and some of the people I met, you know, brief detail, I guess, and uh, some other stuff. But anyway, until the next one, my name has been Johnny Tibbs. Peace out. Adios.